I talk about one night worker, comrade Asuzu Chine Dupitas. Koko Walai, Ife, Jikotalo customary government with all other groups. Customary government of indigenous people of Biafra is not a pro Biafran group. So, Koko Walai, Ife, Jikotalo groups ni ne ne kuku biafra. Tana customary government. Kokwe la structure. Nyabu mbalaga ni ne customary government ji alwolo. Nde bido go function ba. Kun we malona. Ne be no. But no government ya government ge nye nye dulu biafra. Dula e ba nyini me biafra. And on e vro kokwe ya se ni po obage mpokolo. Abato obige we li awe ba efia. Obu na bia France recognize that their customary government. We will hear now law all new ogulu here. Onye ze megene ato anyo ojo. Nya, ai na abonite asuzu. Ka obia wele microphone. Ko ko wa lo ndi bia France. No here. Na ndi na enene ifa ai na ekwu. Ni ifa ai na eme. Ife bu customary government of Biafra. Dalen. Dalo onye sim. Bia France Queen. Oh, is that? Oh, is that? Can I do it? On a drasho. Bia France Queen. Bia France Queen Zone. Um, I can name on Nozo Puriche. Na, uh, Oroma Nuniem. Mana Diko Sinade. Uh, Iya ine kumakia awo makandi bososo. So, I am not to go and all ubeke. And the memory of the Nkenke knows up reach. Um, Ihenem Ka Ngaziebo Kai Hota Iebo Customary Government of Indigenous People of Biafra. This is a very vital topic and issue everybody needs to understand. Understanding the customary government of indigenous people of Biafra, the structure, its relationship with pro Biafran groups. Because, uh, all the very few, and the but subsequently, um, I got multiply here yeah, so that every person can get. A copy of this, and it will also be pasted on our website and other social platform. In Jinake Babo, the organogram of the customary government of indigenous people of Biafra, the organogram. And in Keden Azuya, I will explain that later. It's another governmental structure, well detailed. This one was sent to me by Nam De Kano after we visited and we had a discussion so that everyone and all Biafran people will understand what we are doing and where we are heading to. But meanwhile, while this lecture is going on, Agma did very brief. Kama distraction there prolong because I wouldn't want to prolong this um, brief. Uh, discussion because I would like us to give me this 15 minutes and give me your attention. Understanding the customary government of indigenous people of Biafra, the working and why do we have the customary government? I do want to ask you, what is government? What is government? In the modern Amari Hebo government. Many people are married for government. People do not understand what government is all about. If I ask, what is government? Yesterday, I told somebody we are debating on why corruption is so much in most African countries, especially Nigeria. And I told him that the reason why things are not working properly here is because governors and government officials are powerful, more powerful than the government. The person became confused. Because 
Police, if you are seen a government, I beg you. Governor, if you are seen a government, I beg you. Okwezi oku. But that is an upside down ideology of what government is. Government is the people. Government is the people. Those people that you call government are supposed to serve what? The people. They are there to serve the government. They are there to serve the people. And the reason they join where government, in a layman's definition, government simply means a machinery, a machine, a vehicle that conveys the aspiration, the need of the people to their destinated, um, their, their, their aspirated uh, destination or where they aspire to, to get to. That is what government is all about. Now, on oh, an argument again, so many people have come up to say, um, uh, 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 administrator, you must have come across this. You must have come across this argument. Forget about government. What is government? When Biafra come, we will not talk about government. Now we, we are in freedom fighting. There is nothing like government. There is nothing like government. We are in freedom fight. It is command and control. Now, this statement now brings me to why should you have a government in place in pursuit for self-determination? In our neighbor, Ejim 2 organogram. These organizational structures, this one, more or less, is a transitional. What we have here is customary government of indigenous people of Biafra. It is not a sovereign government. It is a de facto government. So as a result, this is like a vehicle. The structure of the government that will convey our aspiration for freedom to our destination, which is sovereignty of Biafran people. While this is a well-detailed structure of a government of a sovereign nation. Of a sovereign nation. So we will start with this. This is where we are at the moment. What do we want, my people? What do we want? What do we want? What does Biafran people want? What do they want? So our aspiration and destination is what? Freedom. Biafran people want... And how can we get to that freedom? Some people thought that freedom is going to fall from heaven. Or one day you wake up and they will say you go and get your freedom. Let me tell us. The reason HUM, well, one of the reasons... I've already started both the importance and the reason why you have the customary government. Number one, the reason why you have to establish a customary government or a de facto government is to put up a structure in place is to put up what a structure in place that will enable you to continue when you get your independence because you are not going to build your country in a vacuum on air so that is the reason why you have to have a de facto government a framework so that the world will know that you are governable people you can be under authority Another reason why you have to, uh, this customary government was set or put in place is to bring our people what, together. If you look at the structure of this government, when I, I'm going to take it one after the other, because it's not going to take me three minutes to just read it down. But I want you to first of all understand why this is being put in place. So that our people can be brought together. In and now, if you go out there, there are more than 50 pro Biafran groups out there. Am I lying? Each of the group leadership claiming to be all in all. Many of them have adopted what they call command and their control. That once everything stands and ends with the leader, if he tells you something, you must obey it. You don't even have to ask any question. Those of you who are members of Masob or other groups, I believe you understand, you had the experience of what I'm talking about. But the point is that if you have a structure, there is a saying that says, Power corrupts, isn't it? Absolute power does what? Corrupts, corrupts absolutely. That is what command and control. In fact, so many people are talking about sabotua, sabotua, sabotua. The reason why sabotua will continue, sabotage will continue in Biafra agitation is because there is no proper system of governance in place. It is the system of the governance that will checkmate the activities of everyone involved. So I was discussing with somebody yesterday and I told the person, the reason why people over there, probably in the Western world or developed countries, looks as if to say, 
they are more civilized. They obey the rules. Everybody maintain law and order. While if you come to this place, it's like a jungle, just animal jungle. In fact, some people that call Nigeria zoo. I, I've been praying. No, Nigeria is not a zoo, my brother. Nigeria, is, if Nigeria is a, a zoo, to be honest with you, I will not be agitating for Biafra. I will not be. If Nigeria is a, a zoo, I will not be agitating for Biafra. Tell, tell somebody I say so. Because in zoo, animals are well taken care of. In zoo, animals are well protected. You don't just go inside the zoo and start killing animals. If any of them get sick, they do what? They take care of them. Animals don't just wake up and start doing anything they like because they can do it. But in animal jungle, it is the jungle of the fittest. The survival of the what? The fittest. Anu for anu kaya lienya. Nothing will happen. In the jungle, you see animals eating their becoming carnivorous. What will you call carnivorous in Nigeria today? Is that somebody will go into power and divert the fund that is meant to provide source of livelihood to the people or park here in, in, in billions of dollars. No DAK. And people are dying. That is carbon, that, that is the height of Mariebo a carnival. Ladies, young children, young people, young girls, now nah, they're nah, less because they cannot even feed them. That is animal jungle for you. So if Nigeria is a zoo, I will not be doing what I'm doing today. Nigeria is an animal kingdom. Now let me go back to what I was saying. The reason why, the reason why there is sabotage in the process is because things are not organized. Things are not put in place. System is not working. Somebody argued with me that, eh, nah, and the no, they know how to, it is in their blood, it is in their blood to maintain law and order. I said, no. In fact, the Igbo people are the worst. They are the, they are the worst. I say it. It's not because they are more civilized, it's because the system there is what? Working. Governors in Nigeria will travel abroad, they will enter train. If the train is full, they will stand up and hold their hand like this and get to where they are going. If they, if they are driving on the car, they will maintain the traffic rule. But here, you see somebody that is a government official. He will jump directly opposite the traffic and be driving with impunity. Then every other person should jump into lagoon so that he can pass. That is animal jungle for you. That is because the system is not what? Working. Because if you do it there, the system is already in place. That even those in governance... Their prime ministers do, does what? Obey those rules. Because the system is working. And what makes that system to work, my people, is the people. If any prime minister or any president in the Western world misbehave, who normally comes out? The people. You see people criticizing them left and right. But here, they will still, they will do all sorts of evil. And at the end, they will come to church. They will give them first seat in the church. In the community, they will give them chief tenancy title. In the street, they are being honored like demigods. That is the reason why things are not doing what? Working. Our people, it is time everybody rises up. Because if this continue, our children will continue to be slaves forever and ever. It will never end. And that is why we are doing what we are doing today. And going back to what I'm saying, understanding the customary government. I told people, if we are not doing what we are doing today, South Sudan will be a paradise compared to what Biafra will be when they get there. It is one thing to ask for freedom. It is another thing to know what to do with that freedom when you get it. That is what we are trying to do here. To make sure we put the structures in place. You can imagine. This is my brother. You can attest to that. This thing that happened to me in my, in my, in my palm. All fellow Biafran groups, they were fighting. And they nearly mobbed us to death. Now you can imagine. You can imagine. What will happen tomorrow if Biafra comes and all those claiming commander in chief, battalion in chief, and the rest of them, all those titles they give to them, my prime minister and the rest of them? Yeah, at the end, when Biafra comes, everybody will now start marshalling out their own armies and they will start, we start killing ourselves. That is what we don't want. And that is why we need what? A customary. And I've said it customary government is not a pro Biafran group. 
it is the structure everybody is part of it nobody it is it is governmental structure that will accommodate everybody everybody has a place and that is now where i will now go in to read out some of the structures that we have and why we put them in place don't forget i said if you don't have a proper structure sabotage will continue I told them now the clan that they met him at the Kujia prison. I say, eh, now that we are talking about unity, everybody is now coming together. He, in fact, the guy is on high spirit. He wants Biafra people to come together because we have fought for this thing since 2015 to bring our people back together. Everything we did is thwarted. Every one I be an artwork. People are just. But thank God, now the clan. The last meeting we had, the unity meeting, he was there. He sent his delegates. And we went to see him. He even wanted to sponsor the next unity meeting of all Probia Frank groups so that we can come together and speak with one voice. That is where we are heading to. But I told you, he was complaining that eh, somebody will now go out and sabotage. I said, let me tell you, people will sabotage. The only checkmating of people being a saboteur is to do what? Set up a proper structure. You can go to bed and sleep. The structure is running. Nobody can compromise. And that is why we have the customary government of indigenous people of Biafra. That is why it was set up. There is no other reason. There is nothing like command and control. Some people say they are under oath. They are under oath. The people that are misbehaving today, all of them, did, did they take oath? They took oath. Many of them even administered the oath to other people. What happened? Nothing. It is not all about oath. It is setting up the system. Oh yeah, maybe na kawanyen jo na na baani. Things are going wrong badly, badly every day. People are not gonna church yet. Better. Ne me fasting and prayer. Things are going wrong. Ne me fasting and prayer. Maybe God gets in the bar. Tabe do zero gebi no. Why do you have to do what you need to do so that things will work out what better? That is why we have the customary government and how it is structured. We are indigenous people of eh. It is not a pro Biafran group. It is not an organization. It is a nation, a people. And according to our indigenous identity, the tradition and custom before the white men came, we already had the better system of governance. Here in our democracy today, our Igbo people learned it from our forefathers. We started it right here. What is democracy? Government of the people. By the people and for the people. What you are seeing today in Nigeria, is it democracy? Thank you. In our, in our, in our ancestral and traditional system of governance before, colonial, before colonialism came in, we have a well-structured system. Everybody is duly represented. At the center, you have the council of eh, elders. Drawn from different clans and Omonna. That is your representative, that is your constituency. Omon Nagi was your constituency at that time. Is that not democracy? And then we a system where everybody, including you, the youth, the Omon others, everybody were a place and they stay and they say. So that system of governance was bastardized and destroyed by colonial uh, in masters and they had kind of they now impose their system upon us the reason why africa will remain under while i was doing my academy studying political science and public administration and rest of that i described and defined that democracy is rational democracy is what a people defines it to be the british democracy is different from american democracy but they are all democracy. But what the problem is when you now impose your democracy upon other people, it goes against their what? Their way of life. Our way of life is republican system. Where everybody is duly what? Represent where everybody have what? A say. And that is why I say no to command and uh, control. When you take command and control, then you know maybe if I say something, every every one of you must obey it. If you do it one year, two years, Ndibo naturally will start to revolt against you. And when he does that, the person will be rebelled what? Saboteur. That is what is happening. So, 
when you have a system of governance it will help channel things the right way and in our system we have the elders council men of proven integrity that will now do what represent the interests of the rest of all the places we are there. You all need to decide there, but they will take it back to the, wherever they come from and relate back to that. That is how chain of information goes. In the current dispensation of indigenous people of Biafra, we have Supreme Council of Air Elders. Supreme Council of Air. It is not one man. It is a constituent. It is a collegiate leadership of different Biafran elders from different ethnic backgrounds. Currently, the leader of the Supreme Council of Elder, the chairman is retired Chief Justice Ezozo, but deputized by Dr. Dozier Ikedife. Ike, um, Achuzie, General Achuzie is the sec secretary. There are other people from Ejo, like uh, uh, Elder uh, Canada Jenner from Ejo. You have other people from Akwa Ibon State, and the rest of them. That is how they are, they are still in the formation stage. More people are coming in. They are at the highest what? place in the structure look at it there you see you have the supreme council of elders these are elders and the, 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 uh, their role is to do what give advice and guidance that's all you remember they are old people can they run can they do some of the things we are doing today they are just there to do what to guide and to give do give what elderly advice that's all while if you come down you now see heads of different departments. They call it National Executive Council. This National Executive Council now constitutes different pro Biafran group leadership, different departments, different ethnic nationalities in Biafra, all coming together to have a place. These are the working machine of the customary government of indigenous people of eh, Biafra. That is just it. That is, I'm just summarize everything I have to say now. When all these pro Biafran group from Masop, their leadership, BLC, um, Billion Human Rights, Radio Biafra, BVI, all, all the rest of them, all these institutions that have, work, that have been working independently on their own as pro Biafran groups, they will now come and have what is called a clearing house. They will come together. Billie, you are good in the human rights. You are uh, legal. You are going to court. Make sure that everything that has to do with legality, you are doing it very well. If I have problem, Billie should do what? Come. Is that not it? Whether I am a Masobian or BLC or Radio Biafra or BVI, if you have a, a human rights issue, Billie Human Rights Initiative to do what? Stand up. You don't even need to be a member of Billie before they do what? They respond to your case. That is what and how a government functions. And that is what we call intergovernmental what? Relationship. Those in the media, Radio Biafra, BVI, Biafra Voice International, BVI Channel 1, all of these, Biafra 24, all these media outlets, they will be speaking out for the activities of different eh, groups, what they are doing, promoting their ideology. And remember, when they come together, they will all come out and say, one, one person will say, we, are going to, uh, uh, we want to do sit at home 30th of uh, May. And every one of them will do what? We say, it is a good uh, idea. They will all go back to their different groups and tell them we are all doing what? A sit at home. Uh, home that you that you now said it maybe from uh, BDA or maybe from uh, BVR or Radio Biafra that you say that we are going to do a sit at home it is not your project it has now become Biafran people's uh, project that is how things work out I will now be speaking with one voice do you think we are going to get to where we're going no if we continue like that we are not going to go anywhere or these people are going to court. The other people are, atta are tackling them. Don't mind them. They, they are wasting their time. They are saboteurs. Will you get to where we are going? No. Or somebody or people are uh, 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 going to court now. As um, uh, Nam Dekano has been going to court. He, then because BVI is not part of Radio Biafra, he will now not say, you're not going to report what they are saying there. Will you get to where we are going? No. We are only simply shooting ourselves in the leg. So that is why it is very important 
we have these institutions in place and that is the summary of what i have i have here here you see heads of different departments we have different departments we have the media radio biafra is doing a very good job in the media bvi is doing a wonderful job in the media other um, platform in fact radio biafra and bvi channel one have been doing a very consistent and perfect job to educate our people including biafra 24 these are Biafran media. They can all be working together to make sure that, though independently, but they can be speaking with one ideology. And not this one will be going this way, the other person will be saying the other thing and tackling each other. You have the legal, you have the diplomacy, because people have to go and do and engage in diplomatic eh, engagement. Customary government of Nigeria had only three steps to get Biafra. One, the legal process, going to courts legal process going to court diplomacy meeting international community engaging in negotiation and the only time you engage in negotiation that will be fruitful is when you are in control of your territory and that will now usher us into the political terrain so that you'll be in control because all again into contract just like I'm not the owner of this place and I'll go into negotiation with this hotel. Do you think the person will listen to me? No. Except you are in control of that place. You are the owner of that place. You have that is when I will now be sure, or the person that you are going in contract with or negotiate will now say you can fulfill your obligation on based on our agreement and negotiation. That is why Biafran people have to be in control of their land. And that is why the third option the political process and that is the final so that when we are hitting the world on our international uh, engagement in the united nations you heard him when you said somebody was appointed to go and um, attend to our issue at, in hege at the united nations in so many other places the only time the world can take us serious is when we are in control of our territory so that when you engage in diplomacy they will be sure that when Biafra come, you will be able to do what? Honor it. That is when they will now start. Because many people have stake in Nigeria. You know that. America, Britain, Russia, China, all of them have stake. If you're talking about another country, they don't know their place, whether they are going to lose what they have here or not. So you first of all engage them. And when they know that they are going to gain better, the man, they will you start seeing what is called support. A J journey support. You don't do support with word of mouth. So these are part of the things why we say the customary government must be in, in place. The diplomacy department, the youth mobilization. Even in the we cannot exclude them. Because I say that Biafran agitation, some people have taken it over as a spiritual process. It is good. Those that can pray, pray. But as far as what we are concerned is, while you are praying, you are working. You must work it out. You must work it out. You must work it out. Because faith without work is what? Van vanity. It's just vanity. So this is what we are trying to say. People have to understand why we are doing what we are doing here. And that is why we have the customary government of indigenous people of Biafra. Well structured. With this, we have the economic or what they call financial department. We have the economic or uh, commercial department so that we can empower our youths. The reason why people are sabotaging Bonago, the government of Nigeria have made our people so poor that they can even sell their vote for just one gala and pure water. So we have to do what empower our, our people now, Bamba. Our people are very industrious. Only a little push, they will do exploits. So with these departments, they will go into production and the rest of them. And you see, our youths will become less dependent. We will not even know that Nigeria is doing what is existing. We will just walk away from Nigeria by empowering our youths. So that when we launch our political movement, because they are all gathering, they have all stolen all the money in the last four years, waiting to share it, share some piece of it during the election. So that you, they will take your vote and continue stealing. If our youths are properly empowered economically, Will they collect those money? How can somebody give you pure water and gala? You sell your future for the next four years. That is the height of poverty and wretchedness, hopelessness. So we have 
the financial department. And that is where I'm going to round off. Is finance. Okubanego. Problem. But if money and finance is properly put in place, my brother, there will be no problem. My people, there will be no problem. Because when you have a financial department that is independent, just like it has been established in the customary government, the handlers of the financial department are the council of elders. They are the trustees. They handed over. In fact, that is the power they call the, the council of elders have to control the rest of other people. When they have these funds, when they have this fund, all the money collected, all the funds being donated for Biafran agitation goes into one purse. And the people manning that bank, those accounts will not be only one person. The transaction will not start and end with one person. Ego Abunabata is well accounted for. And any money that is given out, if, if Radio Biafra or BVI, they gave you money to establish this, the result is what you have done with it. And you come back and do a report. But if the money comes to you direct, people do not know how much that you collected. And people do not know how much you, you spent. Is that not where corruption creeps in? That is where corruption... So, it is, don't say that it is not a magic. You put the structures in place. Sabotua, Megini, Ana. You eliminate sabotage completely. People will no longer steal in the name of Biafra. And those that are bringing out their time, their energy, have denied themselves everything. Because people have to abandon their works, their businesses. Those people should be do, done what? Catered for. They should be paid like people working for a, a government. They should be properly paid. Well paid. Biafra should pay them properly to eliminate what? The reason why an army officer or a police officer abroad can give his life for his country and die for his country because he knows that the country is going to take care of his uh, family. Can you say of that in Nigeria? Nigeria. You cannot say that about Nigeria. Go out and look at people who are, who are ex-servicemen and see their lives. Do you know, understand what I'm saying? So, if Biafra has to be better, I am Elenkita Gotenwe. We are not going to abandon Nigeria and reject Nigeria and now have a worse society than what we have in Nigeria. It is the same people that are called Nigerians today that will become Biafra's eh, tomorrow. So we must put a different structure, a workable structure that will enable us. Now then these structures I'm talking about will now usher us. Ndineje diplomacy and Nige, people that are managing the fund, people that are on the media, all of them working harmoniously, having a relationship and understanding towards one goal, which is what? Biafra. Somebody made, I'm going to be concluding right now. Somebody made a remark, say, forget about this structure, forget about government, there is no need for that. They wanted Biafra. And I asked the person, if all of us now agree to go to Lagos or to go to Portacourt now from here, and we brought a vehicle, that vehicle is the government. We brought a vehicle and say we want to go to Lagos. Then we enter the car, the driver start the car, match the brake. The brake couldn't cash. Will you we will continue? What should we do? We will fix here yeah, before we move. We must fix our place. We must lay a solid foundation to guarantee that when we leave this place, we will get to our, our destination. Then when we now get to our destination, then we will now introduce this. This is where, when my brother Nam Dekano sent this to me, I read it, I understood it, it is well detailed. In fact, I showed it to a council of elders. And when they read it, he said, this is well detailed. This is well detailed. Some other things are going to be added, but this is well detailed. But it is for a sovereign country. But what we are doing right now is a transitional that will get us to this uh, destination. That is why we have these two. This is the customary government. Customary government is not a sovereign government. It is a de facto government. And when we have and succeed in getting our freedom, securing our freedom, we now establish a proper system of uh, government. Finally, some people do not know what Biafra will look like. Biafra in view. 
Some people thought that Biafra is going to be like Nigeria, where we have a federal government. Somebody will sit in Abuja and be dishing out whatever. Biafra is Biafra had the best system of government before colonization came. And when we came here, and when the uh, uh, Yubo people came here, rather, they borrowed our system and started practicing it there. And now introduced a barbaric system, which they use to impoverish and exploit our land. They introduced it here and left it here and went back with our original system of administration. Our system of administration, when Biafra comes, my people, it will be better Igbo nation will be on their own because they have been independent and autonomous. The Igbo nation will be on their own as a nation. And, all, and autonomous. They'll have their own system of governance. They'll have their law. They'll have their police. they have everything on their own. They will now have a uniting factor. You have a diff, diff, uniting eh, factor, which is the currency so that our economy will be very vibrant. The immigration... Because if you don't have a well, if you say everybody be on your own, you now have to pass immigration before you enter a land or enter a Bibi. Then there will be fracas every day because the other country immediately. So there is no word because we are one people from the beginning. So we have one immigration, one border control. Ayaka line, never will be Afra. And uh, the defense, of course, we will defend our land properly. So this is the kind of Biafra we are looking for. And I believe that we have gotten the message very well. Take it out there, digest it, and introduce this to other people. Customary government of Biafra is not a pro-Biafran group. I said it again. Customary government of Biafra is open for all pro-Biafran group to take their stake and bring all their activities together, and we shall move and speak with one voice. Biafran Squin. We want to have one year print down a cook. The radio. How well I know what they call. I got a good set up with the Akuluga. Great Biafrans. I am still in Dubisi and I know the image maker of the customary government of indigenous people of Biafra. Today, Biafrans are here for their usual weekly training being organized by customary government of indigenous people of Biafra. Every week we come here to meet ourselves and still address those issues that are bothering Biafrans out there. Today we put together training on understanding the structure of customary government of indigenous people of Biafra. The expectation being that Biafrans should know the kind of Biafra they are looking for towards Biafra should understand the process towards which Biafra will be restored. You know, a lot of people are confused on how Biafra will be achieved. So many people believe that Biafra will come from heaven. Others believe that perhaps once Nam Dekani is coming from Kujay prison, he will come out with Biafra or come out with Biafran flag. But the customary government has been trying to inform people that for Biafra to come, we need to understand the process through which Biafra will be restored. We've continued on that training today, and I, I, as you can see, so many of them are excited today because today they have come to understand the structure that is driving the present Biafran struggle. And of course, the expectation, the expectation how Biafra will look like, the kind of go governmental structure we put across when we have Biafra. People need to understand what to expect and people need to understand their expectation today. Today is a very wonderful day as Biafrans here that come across uh, various cities in Anambra states have a wonderful time. Chinedu has also facilitated the training today.